Welcome back to The Launch Brief. This week, we're diving into Meta's latest innovation, an AI assistant powered by Llama 3, the new Open Medical LLM by Hugging Face, evaluating healthcare AI with an eye on real-world applications and more. First, Meta just rolled out a shiny new version of its AI assistant, powered by Llama 3, which is basically a super smart AI model that's even better at tasks like coding than previous versions. Now this isn't just tucked away somewhere hard to find. It's right there in the search boxes of big name platforms like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Messenger. Plus, for the first time ever, you can access it through its own dedicated website, meta.ai. Llama 3 is a big deal in the AI world. It's smarter, performs better, and is more user-friendly for both regular folks and developers. Meta has started by releasing two smaller versions of Llama 3 and has plans to unveil a bigger, even more powerful version soon. This upgrade isn't just about keeping up. It's about making Meta AI a top contender on the global stage with an assistant that anyone, anywhere can use for free. This new rollout isn't stopping at just being in your search bar. It's going global, with plans to bring it to more English-speaking countries. It's got some cool new tricks too, like creating images on the fly and pulling up real-time search results from big engines like Bing and Google, all designed to make your online interactions smoother and more engaging. Meta's big push into AI shows it's serious about making its platforms smarter and more accessible to everyone, everywhere. With Llama 3, Meta is not just following trends, but aiming to set them, focusing on making AI that's powerful and useful in everyday life, while keeping an eye on making things right and ethical. It's all part of their grand plan to lead the way in AI development and use. Making sure their tech not only works well, but also plays well in the real world. Hugging Face, an AI startup, is stepping up its game in the healthcare sector with a new benchmark called Open Medical LLM. This new tool, created together with Open Life Science AI and the University of Edinburgh, pulls together various test sets like MedQA and PubMedQA to measure how well AI models can handle medical info across fields like anatomy and pharmacology. It's designed to give a clear picture of AI performance in healthcare settings but experts are advising caution. They point out that what works in a test setting doesn't always pan out in real-life medical situations. The debate over AI's role in healthcare is heating up, fueled by concerns about risks and biases that could potentially harm patients. To date, the FDA hasn't approved any of the 139 AI-related medical devices for use if they involve generative AI signaling a cautious approach in the medical field. Open Medical LLM is an important first step in sorting out which AI technologies might be up to the task of healthcare, but it also underscores the huge need for thorough real-world testing to really grasp these tools' strengths and limitations. Slack has now made its AI tools available to all paying customers. These tools include features that automatically summarize the key points from channel discussions and help find specific information quickly using simple language queries. Initially introduced in English, the AI now also supports Japanese and Spanish. The updates aim to help users catch up on missed conversations and search for needed information more easily. Future updates will include integrating popular third-party apps, such as Salesforce's Einstein Copilot. While it's still early to tell how useful these new tools will be, Slack is looking to improve how people use their platform. Zendesk is enhancing its customer service technology with the introduction of Agent Copilot and other AI-driven tools to boost the efficiency and quality of customer interactions. Agent Copilot assists human agents by learning from previous interactions to streamline workflows and predict customer needs, 
leading to quicker and more accurate responses. This initiative is part of a broader rollout that includes features like personalized intents for a deeper understanding of customer needs, advanced AI tools for building knowledge bases, That's it for this week's Launch Brief. We hope you found these updates interesting. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for your weekly dose of tech news. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world of tech.